is not good. Not good, huh? <laughs> Tastes like blood. Yeah. Oh. This right here is our old off-grid water system. We suck out of this 2,500 gallon tank underground here through here into a small pressure tank that is under the house. We're replacing this system with a brand new off-grid water system right now. Before we crawl down there into the crawl space and have to try to put everything together down there, what I wanna to try to do is pre-assemble this stuff. This right here is our filter mount, right? This will go against the wall. I would be the wall in this case. And then there's big canisters that go underneath these three of them, uh, different filters for different things. One of them is for iron because we have a lot of iron here. Sediment filter, iron filter, and I forget what the other one is. Something, we'll, we'll check it out when we get to that stage. But we wanna pre-assemble this stuff and have a bypass here so that we can change out the filters easily when we need to. It says here, this is the outlet, this is the inlet which is exactly how we want it to be on the wall anyway, which is good. We've got our fittings here. We're using one inch PEX to plumb the uh, main water lines in the house. And we're just using some thread sealant here, some pipe dope to get that done. A lot of people like to use Teflon tape, which is great. Uh, I like to use pipe dope. I just like it better. Seems simpler and I feel more confident that it's going to seal when I use Pipe dope. Do not want to cross thread these since this is plastic. I mean, you never want to cross thread anything, but there we go. I just want to be 100% sure that you don't cross thread it. And that's all messed up. Hard, really hard to fix. Go ahead and clean up that excess pipe dope. It's because we don't want to make a big mess. I don't want this to look good when it's done. I know you're wondering, where's Jules, man? I don't want to just watch you all day. It's true. I wouldn't want to watch me all day either. She'll be here. She is running some errands in town. I'm just doing some of this preliminary work before she gets home. That way we can go down into the crawl space together and try to get all of the plumbing run. I'm gonna need help getting that pressure tank down in there and all that. So she'll be here, don't you fear. She's just running some errands right now. The other side here. All right, so here we go. Water comes in from the well pressure tank through here, goes in here, goes through the first filter, second filter, third filter, comes out here, and then goes up to the house. If we need to change one of the filters for some reason or just check them, we close this one, we close this one, we open this one, and then the water comes in here, comes up this way, goes through here, and goes up to the house, and we bypass these filters so we can go ahead and change them out. This guy, is all done ready to go down into the crawl space let's go ahead and we'll do up the t that goes into the well pressure tank and then whew, we'll be ready to go down in the crawl space and jules should be back from town so this is our t that goes into the well pressure tank we're going to go ahead and just pre build it so that it's ready to just screw right into the tank Hopefully the sticker comes off easy. It doesn't look like it's gonna be one of those easy to remove stickers. Uh, yeah, dude. Blah. Why don't they put on easy to remove stickers? I think they're in cahoots with the uh, glue removal company. Look at that. Lame. Well, we're gonna work on that for a bit. One eternity later. So we finally got all the sticky off of here. Heated it, peeled it off, and then WD-40 with a rag, got it all cleaned up. So we've got our T here, and um, we need a drain valve, we need the uh, pressure relief valve, we've got a check valve, we've got a shutoff valve, some elbows, and a bunch of different other pieces that we're going to put in here. So we'll go ahead, we're going to go through the same process, we're going to use the pipe dope, put it together, and uh, see what we get at the end. Find our way through anything we face. We got what it takes. Here we go. 
We've got water coming in here, going into the pressure tank, coming out of the pressure tank, and coming out this one right here. And this one right here is for the um, pressure switch to screw onto. We've got our valve, we've got our drain, we've got our pressure relief valve right here. So this will screw into the tank. And we'll screw her in there like that. The shutoff valve is actually going to be on the filters. We can shut it off right there. The water to the whole house can be shut off there. And the check valve, we're actually going to put back in the crawl space where the poly pipe connects to. And then we're going to come off of there with our uh, one inch PEX that's going to run to the pressure tank. And so since that has to run the length of the house, we're going to be able to tap off of this PEX here before the check valve to feed the outdoor faucets and things like that. See, cause this is just a T, water can go in either direction. So the check valve then will be like this in line here, but way back over there. Okay, and so say like right here, so we can come off of here with outdoor faucet lines, instead of coming off of here past the filters, that way we don't have to run so much PEX and also we won't be filtering the water that just goes outside, all right? We don't need to filter that water. So we're gonna put this way back here. Ooh, it's dusty in there, babe. Did I know, man. A lot of you guys were worried about it being like wet down here. I mean, so was I, right? That's why we put the sump in here, or the sump hole for the pump. But surprisingly, it is dry. It is dusty dry. Look at this. That's coming off the floor. So uh, we do not have a moisture problem now. I know that later in the spring when we get all the snow melting and all of that, that'll be the real test. But so far, it's bone dry in here. Here we go. Well, this guy's just like a guitar too. <laughs> but it's not. It's our filter holder. And uh, it's gonna go on the wall somewhere right about here. Yeah, somewhere right about here. Because we want the pipe to come out of here, go up and go right in the corner right up there. We'll get this guy held up here, get him marked out, drill our holes. See if we can get this guy mounted so we can get our tank down here. We want to be sure that the top of the tank is not gonna be hitting the stairs. And so if the stairs come down like this, right, we've got that room over there for where the tank's gonna go. So we need to go get the tank and make sure that it's not gonna be hitting the bottom of the stair runner. All right, Jules, I measured the opening and it's three feet. Okay. So I'm a little bit concerned that that's not gonna fit in there. Oh, our man door? Our thought, man door. Oh, I thought it was four. No, it's three. Okay. Wanna measure it and see? The box? Yeah, the box, let's measure. If the box will fit, we know the tank will fit. Oh yeah. Is that 26 inches? 27 is the box. Okay, that'll fit in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been a bummer, huh? That's called putting the cart before the horse. <laughs> wow. I think it's a little wet, like yeah. damp. Got a little damp. Yeah. The box uh. didn't get wet, but the air is really damp. Ooh, Ooh. It's bright blue. Yeah. It's so fancy looking. And it's even smaller than the box, so that's that good. This is a. Uh... What, an 86 gallon tank? Okay. Yeah, 86 gallon tank for 28 fixtures. <laughs> More than we have. <laughs> More than we have, yeah. <laughs> but you never know, there might be feature expansions. How are we going to carry this thing? Dolly, there's a dolly. I bet it's gonna clear fine, my dear. Let's try it, huh? Yeah. Looks good. Oh yeah, it's gonna clear. All right, we gotta take out this guy right here. It's got a little plug in it for when they painted it so they didn't get paint inside of the uh, fitting here. Brass fitting goes on there. Pipe dope, they like pipe dope too. All right, so let's test fit her on here. See if it's gonna thread on there. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Pipe dope. Doped up good. Yeah. All right, let's 
put it on there. Don't cross that it, huh? Yeah, that would be awful. Could you uh, sit on there? <laughs> Kills is holding it down. I get the most important jobs. <laughs> right in the mechanical bull. Okay, come on. Okay, I'll spin it. I'll spin it and try not to buck you off. Ready? Yeah. One more time here. Okay, here we go. A little bit more. Almost. Tiny bit more. Tiny bit, huh? Let's put her in position and see how we can set everything up. We're gonna go ahead and mount the two by four to the wall, and then we'll mount the um the filters to the two by four, and that's just to offset it off of the wall a little bit more because the, the holders are super close to the concrete wall. And uh, that way you just have a little bit more extra space to work with the filters, screwing them on and putting them off. And then also it'll hold it out a little bit more so it'll line up better with the, um, with the outlet here of the tank so it can come up and go directly into the filters. I wanna do so many things, things I have never done. Just show me where the path gives out, and that's where I'll run. I'll never be a passenger, but someone else desires. I'm wild as the lavender, but hungry like a fire. If you ask me where I'll put my roots, Check it out there. Yeah. I'll be like that. Level? Yeah, pretty good. We can we can adjust to the hair, but pretty level. Let's go ahead and we tighten them up. Yep. Got the ends on all of them. We got one end on all of them put them together and we'll feed them on down there. You're probably wondering why we didn't go with the roll, right? Get a hundred foot roll. Because it's cold and those things are so stiff to try to like straighten out and make, make straight. Oh man, super hard. So we went with the 10 footers, a little bit more expensive. Plus you gotta buy all the fittings. You do have a more potential for leaks because you have more fittings, but it's way easier to work with. That's why we went with this stuff. If it was summertime, we probably would have gone with the roll because we could have put it out in the sun and rolled it out and got it pretty straight. But check out what we did. Look at this, guys. So instead of putting 90s up here and just making it try to reduce some of the friction in the pipes, we're trying to go with as few like sharp 90s and stuff as we can. So we just kind of swoop this down into here. So this is the inlet from the well, comes down into the tank, comes out of the tank down here, comes up, goes through the filters, Comes up and goes out to the house. Jules is heading off into the house. We've got a lot of our pipe connected here, maybe all that we need, but she's gonna cruise down there and feed it through that hole on the other side. Tell me if you see anything gross in there. This pipe right here, goes up to the apartment. This one comes from our new tank. We'll go ahead and we'll connect them up here, but we're not gonna do that yet until we make sure that we get everything working <laughs> because that'd be a bummer to cut this and then we wouldn't have any water going to the apartment. Yeah. Just in case we have a, a problem somewhere. So we'll do this connection last. Hey, how are your toes doing? Are you staying warm? Yeah. And your new boots? And my new boots, yeah. Warm staying and dry. Warm, warm and dry. This is the pipe that comes from the well. There should be no pressure here. We've got the hydrant open on the outside that's connected to this line and the power is off to the well. So there could be a dribble. What do you think, dribble or no dribble? Mm, this one dribble. Ooh, made some noise. Nothing. Great, that's what we want. We want nothing. <laughs> Double check our check valve. Okay. 
That's the sound a seal makes, Jaws. Yeah, sounds okay. like one. You got it on there, man. Now, put our hose clamps. You want them, the nuts, on opposite sides of each other. The weather is so strange, man. It's like the sun is coming out again now. It's nice. I don't even know, man. What is up with this? It's supposed to be raining, freezing, cold, possibly snow, and now the sun is out. Uh -huh. I have no idea, guys. But hey, in this video, we are going to have water running in our house from our well. And I think something that'd be really cool, Jules, is to do a taste test, uh -huh. right? Like taste the water before it goes through the filters and then after it goes through the filters and see, for one, the clarity of it, and two, the taste of it. That's a good idea. I hope yeah. it tastes delicious. Hopefully it doesn't taste like iron. Yeah. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, it is uh, Wednesday night right now. So in this video, don't, like, this isn't the end, right? We're gonna get water running in it, but right now we just, we gotta go to Bible class this Wednesday night, and you're always welcome to come if uh, you're in the area. There's a link down in the description below where you can check that out and get all the times and, address and details and all that kind of stuff but um we're gonna go do that and then we'll finish up that water but first a little off-road in i forgot i wanted to go here and check this out all right guys check this out man i got something cool to show you and uh i gotta put a jacket on though let's cruise down here to the river and uh i got something i want to tell you and show you and test out for myself to see if it's really true I don't know if it's true or not, so let's go find out. So these boots right here by High C, they're supposed to be 100% waterproof and 100% warm. Let's find out. They're pretty floaty, man. A seven millimeter neoprene. And my feet are warm. And my feet are dry. They are waterproof, they are warm, and guess what? They come with a 100 year warranty. But I'm not trying to sell you these boots, man. High C is looking for product testers. They want to give you products for free to test. There is a link down in the description below where you can check it out and register as an official High C product tester. Check out that link down below. There's also coupons and, and other things like that that go along with it. But if you're interested, guys, they work. They work, they're warm, they're waterproof, and they want you to test them out for free. Yesterday, we got all of the plumbing done except for that final connection, which we will do today. Now we need to drill a hole through the wall and run the electrical down to the pressure switch and then connect that to the panel, which is right over here. First of all, let's drill the hole. Jules has got our electrical cable. This is 12-2 wire. And she's going to be unrolling it while I pull it through here all the way down to the well. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't end up a mess. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes it's a mess trying to pull it off of this roll like this. <laughs> we found some more Romex that we're going to actually run for the, uh, the light circuit that's going to go down throughout the throughout the crawl space here but it's a little bit messed up looks like a rat's nest <laughs> yeah something happened here to it so i think i'm going to cut some off and try to clean it up a little bit got the power for our light here power for the well coming down into here now jules and i are gonna stretch it back to the panel and uh, pull it tight and get it all stapled up to the underside of the floor so that it's nice and clean and beautiful. So we're just wiring up the uh, 
pressure switch here. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to test it out here really soon. Real soon, Jules. These are the filters we're going to be installing. One of them is for iron and manganese. The other one's for carbon, and then one is for sediment. Yeah, that's weird, huh? One is an iron manganese, the other one's a carbon filter, but mm -hmm. it doesn't actually filter carbon. All kinds of other stuff, chlorine and different things, but carbon is the medium instead of- Oh, what it filters what out. What it filters out. Oh. Well, the other one says what it filters out, not what the medium is. Oh, yeah, is. I see what you're saying. Huh, I wonder why they do that. Tricky. Know. Yeah, because this carbon says it reduces chlorine, bad odor, and taste suitable for both city and well water rather than it filtering out. It uses carbon to filter all those. Interesting. We got the power all hooked up to it now, and we need to check the air pressure. It's supposed to be at 38 pounds. At least that's what for the switch, because it's a 60-40 switch, and you want to... According to the instructions, you want it two pounds below, two pounds below the uh, cut in pressure. We're at 35. So we've got to add some air. Let's do that. So I have no idea how fast it's going to come up. We need to come up, what, four pounds, huh? Check that. Maybe it was four pounds. Who knows? That was about a pound. All right, we're there. 38 pounds of pressure. 38. We've got our electrical hooked up. We don't have the cover on it yet because I want to see the, the switch is actually working. Um, we've got our water shut off, shut off. We'll go ahead and screw our filters on now, I guess. We're ready to go flip the breaker, man. Doesn't matter which one goes where. Yeah. Um, the, the sediment filter, carbon, and then the iron. Okay, so this is, this is the sediment. Okay. Okay. That come with it? Yeah. That's cool. People really like your sound effects. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the carbon. Carbon. Filter. Hopefully this works, it doesn't just clog up right away. Yeah. You know, we've got, sometimes the water is pretty orange. Mm hmm So, we'll see. This one is the iron and manganese. Iron and mag manganese. Manganese. So what is, it's interesting. Though. Yeah, those ones have a different top and bottom. But like, why does it have this thing that says open and close on it? Did it come with any instructions? No, uh -uh. it's just in plastic. All it has was this little sticker. There's no instructions on it. And it doesn't twist. I don't know. Put it in there and see what happens. We're gonna uh, test it, but we're gonna test it using the, the drain down here rather than running the water through the house because we don't actually have it connected to the house yet because this is that's our only source of water. So if something doesn't work here for some reason, then we won't have any water. So we're testing it here. If it all works properly, the switch cycles like it's supposed to and everything, then we'll go connect it up to the house. Cool with that, Jules? I like it. <laughs> all right. So um, you want to flip the breaker or you want me to? Hopefully he doesn't blow me up. No. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, maybe because the, the hydrant's still open. Nothing happened. Nothing, no water's coming out. Oh. Oh, yeah, that. I forgot to hook up the electrical under the house to the well, ma'am. Oh. Yeah, it's not even hooked up yet. Well. So we gotta finish that. It's 15 minutes. Let's go finish that and then we'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off. Thank you. Now you won't get electrocuted. Yeah, no electrocuted in me. <laughs> We're down in the trenches together, babe. Yeah. <laughs> kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got our wire. We're coming from our well and a string. I'm going to put this piece of power oh. in here. All right, so we need to put some glue on there. Okay. There we go. We got a 
LB we're gonna put on there. What's an LB? This guy right here. I don't know why they call it an LB. I don't know, maybe because it makes an L and I don't know why they put the B part is for though. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna put this guy on there. That way we can make our connection. Wire nuts in there and the Romax can come in and everybody can be happy. All in their own little pit spots. Spots of safety. Let it go on there like that. And then the Romax will just go down in there. When we installed this, and the inspector came out for the rough, the rough inspection of the electrical for the well. I asked him what to do about, like, how do you transition between Romex and conduit? He said, "Ah, oh, just put a box on it. So I said, like, any box? He said, yeah, just a box. Put a box on it and connect it in there. So that's what we're doing. Push all that back in there. And our fancy string. The string is just in case we want to run another another uh, wire through there for some reason. We've got a string loose in there. We can pull it through and pull another wire. And we need our two little screws up there. We've got the final electrical connection done. Totally forgot about that. Um, we're going to go out here and close the hydrant on the well so that the water will just flow right into that tank. I'll show you the well too. I know some of you guys haven't seen it yet, but uh, people always ask how deep it is. Oh, it's 520 feet deep. So shallow. Yeah, so shallow. <laughs> so here's our well right here. Control box, disconnect, well cap, and the uh, magical hand pump. emergency hand pump. It's pre-primed, which is super nice. Yeah, you're gonna you gonna show them how it works? No. Oh. You want me to? Yeah, why not? <laughs> It'll t it takes a little bit to get it going because it's about. I don't know. There's a few feet down there that doesn't have water in it. Pump away, Jules. Okay. Show them how it works. Okay, look at what. There we go. Emergency water. Oh, that's icy cold, man. I bet it is. And so you can see it has this fitting right here. We can connect the garden hose to here, run it over to the hydrant, and then we can actually pressurize that tank that we just installed, if everything works right. We can pressurize that tank with the hand pump in case of a super emergency. Go ahead and turn this guy off. You ready? Yeah. All right, you go down on in there and take a look at the uh, gauge, gauge? Okay. and I'll go, I'll go turn it on. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Well, you're dirty. Dirty hands. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at how fallish it looks now. Our larch trees turning yellow. Walter, you coming to help keep me company? Coming to keep me company? Come on in. <laughs> All right, let's watch the gauge. It's up to 40. Huh? It's up to 40. Okay, cool. And water is rushing in. There oh, go. there you go. Did it. So we're at like 62-ish. 62. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think someone's on my back. Yeah. Is he eating my pom-pom? <laughs> Help me, Marty. I'm being attacked. Yeah, he's got your hair like <laughs> chewing on it. Wow, that's a lot of pressure in that hose, babe. Yeah. So we're just testing it right now. Yeah, I want to see if it clicks on at 40. 40? Yeah. How does the water look? Looks okay. It's very clear. Clear ish. We are at about 52. What, what are you doing over there? It's straining the. Last bit of water out. Uh -oh. Well, there's a lot of water. Yeah. We might need a bigger pot. Rack. Looks good. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. Did we drain all the water out or not? Backup bucket. <laughs> ah, just a little tiny bit in there. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Ring. Look at that though, man. Dirty in there. Mm -hmm. All right, hooking it up. There we go. There we go. Cool. Yep. So now we uh, Close all the water valves upstairs in the apartment so we you know because we drained all the water out 
go up there, we'll close them all, flip the breaker on, pressurize the tank, and then we'll open it up and let it come out. We're full, we're pressurized, we've tested it a couple of times, and now it's time to open up this valve. You ready? Yeah. So this is running through the filters. And it's going into the filters, not running through them yet. Okay. I mean, it's, probably, it's going through the first one, going through the second one, and then it's stopping at the third one. What are you looking for? I'm just waiting for it to, just opening it slowly, letting them fill up. All right, yeah. so now we're looking for leaks. Yeah, because that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. 60 pounds of pressure in these bad boys. Ooh, they're chilly. I don't see any leaks. Do you see any leaks? Mm. I don't see no drops on the ground. Looks good. And it's super quiet. Everything is so quiet. All right. Now we'll open this one and it will let water go up to the apartment. Then we can go up there and test it. It's just a sink. moment. This is the big moment of this truth. This is the big moment of truth. <laughs> Let's open it slowly so we don't <laughs> make you go something. crazy. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> no leaks. Water stopped running, so that means. We've got valves closed up there, so now we can go up and test it. Whew. All right, let's go turn on the kitchen sink. It's probably gonna spit and sputter a bit, that's my guess. Huh. Surprise, I thought they'd be air in the line. There you go. Oh, <laughs> There's the sputter. Oh, look at that. That's um, from the water lines. The old, like the old water lines, as the air comes through, it. It um, kind of agitates the stuff that's on the water pipe, the inside of the water pipe. We got all the water out of the lines. I think we've got nice clean water up in the apartment. I'm gonna get a glass from down here before it goes through the filters. We'll do a taste test up there with water out of the tap at the kitchen sink. Look at that. There's a lot of air in there. Huh, that's interesting. Yep, you can see there's a separating. Oh yeah, listen to it. Can you hear it? All right, Charles, here you go. Water directly from the tank. And it was like white, all full of bubbles when I first got it out of there. Okay. So now it's just clear water. <laughs> that is not good. Not good, huh? Oh, bad. What's it taste like? It tastes kind of like, it tastes a lot like iron. Like it does out of the garden hose? Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> All right, so let's try. Um, let's try it out of the kitchen sink. Right out of the faucet. Right out of the faucet. Okay. Hmm. Hey, that's got air in it too, huh? Yep. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Huh. Well, it's going away pretty fast though. Yep. All right, I'll taste it. it doesn't have any flavor. It's good. No flavor, mm -hmm. Jules says. Yeah, that's good. Look at the color difference. Oh yeah. This one's way more yellow. Hmm. This one's just nice and crystal clear. All right, here we go. Jill says this is bad. Doesn't smell bad. Yeah, yeah. You can taste the iron in it. Yeah. Tastes like you're licking a piece of metal pipe. Yeah, yeah. Here, taste the good one. Good one. I think I still have a little bit of the iron taste in my mouth. <laughs> it's good though. You know who really needs to taste this is Seth. He's like the water connoisseur. Yeah, he's a water snob. Water snob. Come on, water snob. Come on, water snob. <laughs> You've been doing school today, huh? Tests yeah. and college Watch classes. Tests. Oh. All right. That looks nasty. Just give it a little sip because it'll like coat your mouth. Yeah. It smells earthy. Mm hmm. Tastes earthy. <laughs> tastes like blood. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe it like does when you taste, bite your tongue. Yeah, it does taste like blood. Huh. <laughs> nice and clear. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, huh? no flavor. Yeah. No flavor. But is it good though? Yeah, it's not better at all. It's good, man. Seth good would wild. know. Seth is the water man. It's like, ugh, this bottle of water, this one's better. <laughs> this one's good. We've got fresh, clean water in abundance in the apartment now. And guys, I picked out this video right here for you to go ahead and watch next. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day and keep smiling.